Have you ever let a child die? According to Peter Singer, you more than likely have allowed a child to die. Hi, I'm Kendall Wells, and today I'm going to be explaining Peter Singer's arguments that we should be committed based on our morals to helping the poverty. Peter Singer demonstrates that one not assisting those in need is failing to live a morally right life through recognizing people's principal virtues. Peter Singer is a utilitarian philosopher. He judges whether acts are right or wrong by their consequences. There are many children in need overseas who are dying and suffering. Therefore, when people choose not to give money to famine aid overseas, they are allowing children in need to die because that money could be life or death. So this brings us into the question of, so what are some factors that could prevent someone from, you know, saving a child? And is it ever morally permissible not to do so? So here to answer these questions, um, Singer brings up a scenario called the lake argument by analogy scenario, where he discusses that you see a child drowning in a pool or a shallow pond. And you are the only person who sees this child at the time, so should you save them? He then provides factors that may alter this decision on saving the child. Say, what if you have to make a sacrifice for this child? Um, For example, you see the child while you are on your way to work, and saving him is going to make you late. Should you still save that child? Or what if there are other people that see this child also and they're not saving him? Would you think that because no one else is saving them, then you shouldn't have to either? Um, or another factor he brings up is if you would have to run to the child because he's too far away and then you would be all sweaty, you know? (laughs) So are those morally right reasons why you shouldn't have to save a child? Obviously, he wants you to make a point here where he's trying to say that it is obvious no matter the circumstance, if you see a child drowning, you will help save them. No factor should alter that in your mind. You should be late to work. You should um, get sweaty if you have to run to the child. And if there are other people around, you should be the one who decides to save the child because that's morally right and so basically that is demonstrating a principle of virtue so like he wants to put the idea in your head that saving the child the life of a child is mandatory therefore we should believe giving money to charity is mandatory as well so this brings us to the point of what if the sacrifice is too big what if we feel it is just too big the sacrifice and we don't want to risk our happiness for the child's life okay so is that a good excuse not to save a child so singer demonstrates this when he describes a bugatti story okay so The story of Bob and the Bugatti is about how Bob cherished his Bugatti and knew that when he retired, he could sell it and live comfortably. One day, a train was heading towards a child and Bob was unable to warn the child because he was too far away. However, he could make the decision to allow the train to switch paths and hit his Bugatti instead. In this story, Bob chooses not to switch the train's path and chooses saving his Bugatti and that future financial stability. The child dies and Bob 
you know, lives on, lives comfortably with his Bugatti and his, you know, financial stability. And so I'm sure y'all are thinking that that was morally wrong of Bob to do. But it is believed that this decision for Bob to make was easier because the child was a complete stranger to Bob. They never came in contact with one another. This child was too far away to the, for them to form a connection and for Bob to help him. However, many people still think this is morally wrong for Bob to choose his car over a child's life. But Singer believes that people make choices similar to Bob's every single day. There are children dying from starvation, an easily treatable disease they cannot afford. People can save these children by donating to these organizations that aid in those in poverty. Would you sacrifice and well to donate to an organization for children overseas? Would you sacrifice your retirement? Singer believes that you should. He believes that we should only be using the money that we need to survive and the rest of it should go to a charity. We should only keep the bare minimum. However, I have a viewpoint on this. I have questions for Singer. So what if we experience an emergency circumstance and we need that money that we did not spend on the all the essential things that we needed in life an emergency occurs and a family member sick and now we're suffering because we donated all that money to saving a child instead of saving our money for an emergency circumstance i feel like there is a limit to do so and singer kind of should not be saying that we should not indulge in the luxuries of life because that's not how one should be mentally satisfied. So he's saying, and then he brings up the point where he's like, say there are more people like Bob, okay? So there was Angela, Sydney, George, Mike, Joe, all of these people also so chose to save their car instead of that child and so they are choosing to do so which is more children that are dying in regards to us choosing our car over someone else but he believes that we do that every single day we go out we buy a tv when that tv could technically save a child so a visual example that I want to include for you guys. Give me a second. This, I'm on my phone. I'm sorry. This is my visual example for you. So, sorry, she is wild, but. Is 
sorry. My phone. Because I trust my dog. Which... No, because I love her so much. Like, <laughs> she is worth it to me. So that was my visual <laughs> aid. And bringing us to our next point. Um, I'm going to provide this as a visual example as well. All right, so Singer provides these numbers for you guys in his paper. And he says, now we all have the capability to save a child because we could call one of these places right now and save that child. I'm sorry. Um, Corona. We could call one of those places right now and save the child. So, how much should we be donating? And to what extent? Like I said, should I not have bought my dog? Corona, come here. Maybe I shouldn't have. <laughs> Anyways, so he believes that that $200 that is used to save a child should be an obligation. But after you give 200 there will always be more children whose lives need to be saved. Should we give until we have nothing? That's a question that I want to raise to Singer. And that brings me to our conclusion. In conclusion, Peter Singer believes everyone should give money to those in need. Singer believes we are given the opportunity to save lives every single day. So those numbers provided to help save America and save the children in his article, the information, I placed it right in front of you guys. So you guys choosing not to pick up that phone and call one of those numbers that I provided, um, he believes that makes you just as bad as the person who did not save that child drowning in the pond, the person who saved that car instead of the child. So I'm going to end on... So we're going to discuss... Um, um, we're not going to 